Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new sneaker review and today, today we are taking a look at the upcoming Air Jordan 4 release in the alternate motorsport colorway. Now before this video starts, I do want to let you guys know there will be a small little Air Jordan giveaway, so stay tuned and stick around to the end of the video. And with that said, welcome to all the new viewers on the channel. This is Sneaker Talk. I do a lot of sneaker reviews, vlogs, unboxings. I upload one to three videos a day, so if you're into consistent quality content like this, think about subscribing or check out another one of my videos. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much and welcome back to another video, my Sneaker Talk family. Today we have the Air Jordan 4 Alternate Motorsport, and before I tell you guys all about these sneakers I do want to say a huge thank you and shout out to Champ Sports Canada for sending these my way I want to really just thank you guys so much you guys hooked it up a week early by now if you've gone shopping at a mall you've probably seen the Air Jordan 4 Motorsport sitting on shelves now that is a release that was a limited sneaker at first and then it became a GR well now this is the alternate version to that sneaker and as obvious as it may seem this Jordan 4 alternate Motorsport is just a black version of the Jordan 4 Motorsport. Now besides that, there isn't any other differences except for the quality of the leather. I've seen the quality of the leather on the Jordan 4 Motorsports at stores like Champs and Foot Locker and stuff like that. And the quality is pretty average, it's like average Jordan brand quality. You're not gonna be blown out of the water, but you're not gonna be like, damn, this is the best leather ever. But I wanna say that on this version of the Jordan 4, um, the alternate Motorsport, they did a really, really good job with the leather on this sneaker. The quality of this leather is superb, so you're not gonna be disappointed at all. And this is honestly a blue version of the Air Jordan 4 bread. Now I'm sure most of you guys like those sneakers. It's probably one of the best Air Jordan 4s out there and I know there is a rumor that they're going to be re-released this year uh, around uh, the fall, fall winter months uh, with the Nike Air branding on the back. So look out for the bread Air Jordan 4s. But if you're a fan of the color blue, this is basically just a blue version of the Jordan 4 bread uh, except for the material change because these use leather instead of that nubuck material that the bread 4s use. Before we get into the sneakers themselves I want to show you guys the box because of course as a sneaker collector boxes are sort of important too these Jordan 4s are not a special release these are a general release Jordan so they come with the typical Air Jordan 4 box we got the Jumpman on the front right here with the flight text underneath of it we have the uh, cement print on the side here's a look at the tag as well and of course just like every Air Jordan 4 these also come with a hang tag as well. So you can put this on your backpack if you want, on your keys, hang it wherever you want. It's just a nice little added touch. Who doesn't Who doesn't like a little something something like this in their shoe box? Like, you know, I wish every Air Jordan would come with its own little hang tag. We got black leather. We got these black TPU plasticky kind of things here to hold down this lace wing. We got the gray accents on these little lace areas right here. You also got gray on the ankle. You guys can see it's starting to pill. I think it's called pilling when you're like jeans or your sock your sock uh, little fluff of the material comes off you can actually get rid of this with like a razor blade like you can just clean it up super duper easy now the only other touch of gray accents on the sneaker are actually on the midsole right here which is probably one of my favorite parts about the Air Jordan 4 we got this like black and gray midsole combination and then you got the gray Jumpman on the very back of the sneaker no Nike Air branding here because of course this isn't an OG colorway of course you also have the black Air Jordan 4 netting as most of you guys are aware I think all the Air Jordan 4s except for like the Oreo 4s and a couple others maybe but for the most part Jordan 4s use this like netting material here I know on some of the colorways like the white cement 4s that can start to yellow over time you won't have to worry about that obviously now you guys also have the black toe box right here the leather is really really nice here unfortunately if you are a crease freak and you hate creases you're gonna have a bad time with these but honestly the creasing isn't horrible I've worn these for three days in a row I've been walking around a ton and it's not that bad if anything you can pick up some sneaker shield I think to prevent some creasing here is a look at the tongues of the sneaker It looks like the tongue leather that they use is a little more tumbled than the rest of the sneaker I don't know why that is then you got that blue Jordan Jumpman as well with flight underneath it now Both sneakers did come with these little cardboard things to maintain its shape I guess in storage I already threw one out They also come with the cardboard shoe trees as well if that's your thing now There's also some Air Jordan branding on the inside right here as you guys can see it's like 
like in reverse. You also got that white, blue, and black midsole combo in the very back with that white air unit. And last but not least, here's a look at the outsole. You got that blue Jumpman right in the center. Now with the details out of the way, let's get more in depth with this sneaker. Now I wanna say this is a really clean Air Jordan 4. If you're the type of person that's only gonna get like one Air Jordan or one sneaker per year, this Jordan 4 is definitely a top contender for that slot. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with this colorway. This is a sneaker that you can wear basically every single day. Now in terms of comfort and sizing. Sizing, I would recommend going your true size in Air Jordan 4s. The Air Jordan 4 is actually one of the more comfortable Air Jordan retros out there. I was very pleased with the comfort of these. As I said earlier, I was wearing these for the last three days and I've had no issues wearing them all day long, walking around malls, walking around downtown Toronto and walking around Toronto as a whole. These are a comfortable pair of Air Jordans. So don't let the fact that these don't have like Adidas Boost technology or it's not a full air unit on the bottom, don't let that fool you. These are still gonna be comfortable. You can wear these all day long and your feet will not hurt. Two other things I really like about this Air Jordan 4 besides the way it looks and just how beautiful it is, is that there isn't really too much to worry about when it comes to cleaning. There's only one small white portion of the shoe and that's on the midsole right here. So that is it. You won't have to worry about really cleaning or getting the rest of the sneaker dirty because it is an all black leather sneaker and you have black, blue, and gray on the midsole. Super easy colors to clean and just you wouldn't have to worry about them getting stained or anything like that. And on top of that, with my experience with Air Jordan 4s, these will hold up over time. You can beat these up, you can wear these a ton, and they're still gonna look fresh. Overall, if you are looking for a new pair of Air Jordans and you're a huge fan of the Air Jordan 4, I would recommend giving this model a shot or trying them out in store. Uh, you can't you can't honestly go wrong with this model. I've been waiting for these to drop for a while now, so I'm really glad I got these in hand. Now, if you guys wanna see some cool pictures of these, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It is at sneakertalksyay. I'll probably have some cool phone and desktop wallpapers up on my website as well, sneakertalk.ca. And with that said, I'll leave you guys with some on-feet footage coming up next. I know you want to, girl. Ride the For today's sneaker talk giveaway, it's gonna be some Air Jordan stickers. These cool things right here. This is a limited edition pack of Jordan stickers from 306 Young, the new Jordan store in Toronto. Now, if you wanna enter this giveaway, it's gonna be a super duper simple uh, procedure. All you wanna do is subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below, and then comment what you think about the Air Jordan 4 alternate motorsport, and then thumbs up the video. Now, this is really important, this is really important. If you win, I have to have a way to contact you. So, I need you to include your Instagram handle as well and follow me on Instagram. It is at sneakertalkca, and that's how you're gonna find out if you won. So that's one way you can enter to win. If you want a second bonus entry, you can also comment on the picture of these sneakers on my Instagram. Just comment if it's a copper drop, and that's all you gotta do. Comment if it's a copper drop on the picture where the sneakers are like, like looking like this. It'll 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 look like this on my IG. And that's all you gotta do for this limited Air Jordan sticker pack giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.